Facts Verify. Fast Facts. If you keep sending your questions about the coronavirus, we'll keep answering. Let's take a look at three with public health expert Dr. John Carlo. First question comes from Denise, who emailed, they're saying that a lot of people lose their taste and smell due to the coronavirus. You know, that's something that we've picked up that's rather interesting. We are seeing that report. NBA player Rudy Gobert, who tested positive, tweeted, loss of smell and taste is definitely one of the symptoms. Haven't been able to smell anything for the last four days. The professional body of ear, nose, and throat doctors in the UK says there is good evidence of this phenomenon coming out of patients in South Korea, China, and Italy. However, it could merely reflect the attention that COVID-19 has attracted in the media. It is something that um, we have recognized as a possible thing to ask in addition to looking for other signs and symptoms. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things we don't, we don't really know quite yet what, what to make of that. So is a loss of sense of taste and smell a symptom of COVID-19? At this point, it's unknown. There is now mounting evidence, but there's just not enough research. Next question. Jana asks, can mosquitoes carry the virus for COVID-19? Uh, at this point, I don't think so. I don't. I think that would be very, very unlikely. You know, this is a respiratory virus, and we've never seen a coronavirus ever be transmitted from a mosquito uh, before. In fact, the World Health Organization says to date there has been no information nor evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. So can mosquitoes carry the coronavirus? The answer is no. Last one, and I've heard this one a lot. Mike on Twitter wants to know, can my dogs get COVID-19? The government of Hong Kong says that two dogs have tested positive. One was a Pomeranian that tested weekly positive for a low level infection using a sensitive test. But that's the extent of the evidence and it's a tiny sample, not enough to change the scientific conclusion that the coronavirus is only known to be transmitted from human to human. We don't think that that's actually something that would cause an additional infection. Um, so, so right now, the, the answer is, I, I think, probably not that, uh, that pets are at risk. So can dogs get COVID-19? The answer is no, but scientists still want to know more. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email.